Are you feeling down or not getting enough sleep? As the COVID pandemic continues to rage on, the effects are taking a toll on everyone from depression to having trouble sleeping. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with Dr. Danilo Ablon, pulmonary, critical care, and sleep medicine specialist at the Queens Medical Center, West Oahu. Good morning, Dr. Ablon. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Ross. Uh, how are you doing? Thank you for letting me uh, speak about sleep in your program today. Glad to have you on the show. Now, first off, what are the effects from the pandemic having on sleep? You know, the, uh, the problems of sleep are not new. Even before the pandemic, almost one third of the population have been having problems with sleep. This includes uh, insomnia, circadian rhythm problems, anxiety, as well as depression and stress. So after the pandemic, four out of 10 of the population had some kind of problems with sleep. So it has a big impact on the population, Ross. Now, doctor, what are the factors and stressors of what's being called corona somnia? So the uh, factors include the fear of getting the virus, um, loss of daily routines. You know, our world has turned upside down because of this pandemic. Financial and emotional stress, distance from others, as well as unpredictability, and, and a lot more, including social media, and of course, uh, a lot of these stressors has impacted on our sleep, Ross. So who's at risk? The, uh, the, everybody's at risk. If you look at the population, it's almost four out of 10. However, there are particular sets of population, uh, including uh, patients with COVID, of course. Those uh, that have, uh, uh, have been taking of patients with COVID. Frontline workers, uh, essential workers, and would you believe unpaid caregivers and even students are at risk of having sleep problems, especially insomnia and circadian rhythm problems. So with a lot of people having issues trying to get some, a good night's rest, what are some tips that can help people get a better night's sleep? Okay, so uh, one of the uh, best way to do it is to establish a bedtime and a morning routine. If, if you are at home, do your routine as if you're working again. Wake up the same time, have breakfast at the same time, Dress up as if you're going back to work, exercise, and then at night have dinner at the same time. So do this routine even if you're not going to work. Even those who are doing uh, uh, work uh, at home with the computer. So have a nice routine. Again, set boundaries about social media, uh, exercise, hydration, uh, as well as uh, give yourself uh, a break about uh, you know news as well as uh, stress uh, stress stories so now you have to establish a rhythm because the rhythm of the uh, circadian rhythm of the body has been disturbed because of this uh, pandemic uh, COVID-19 Ross and it's especially important not to maybe have a cup of coffee before you go to bed as well right well now coffee Coffee has to be taken in the morning because it takes about six hours for it to dissipate. Uh, alcohol is also a problem because even if you take alcohol, it takes only about three hours for it to metabolize. So please don't drink your alcohol at evening. If you want to have the, uh, alcohol, take it early for dinner, but not to induce a sleep rust. Now, to learn more about what you need to know about sleep during this pandemic, you can join Dr. Ablon for a Queen's free virtual speaking of health lecture. That's happening next Thursday, September 16th, from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. To register, just call that number on your screen, 691-7117.
Thank you very much, Dr. Oblons. All those great tips, and hopefully a lot of people will get a better night's sleep. Thanks for having me.